Hi, welcome to Canvas Workspace, tracing an image video. I've, um, I'm going to do it in both versions, both the downloaded version and also the online version, so you can see the difference between the two uh, separate pieces of software. Both are really easy, so either one does a good job. And uh, I've also selected a mandala, which is quite a comp complex image to, to trace. Uh, has um, some issues with um, if, you, if you don't have the lines connected up properly. But I've, I've selected it on purpose just so you can see that it can do quite a complex image and also some of the issues that you might come across. I hope you enjoy the next stretch of the video. Thank you. So this is Canvas Workspace, the online version. Looks a little different than the downloaded version, but really functions very similar. I'm going to do a trace image in this project. So go up to image tracing label, click on that, and you'll be presented with a series of questions or selections that you can do. Uh, first is to select the image. You can choose between choosing it from your uh, device, your PC, or from your scanning cart. We're going to choose it from the PC in this instance. Now pick the best quality image that you have of whatever you want to trace. Uh, the better the image, the better it will turn out. Uh, image file formats that can be selected are JPEG, GIF, PNG or the BMP. BMP would be my last choice as it is uh, very, comes across very pixelated. Uh, if that's all you've got, well, give it a go. So you'll see the images placed into uh, the viewing screen and we've got a red dotted line around here. This can be adjusted if you only want to scan part of the image that you've got in there. In this instance, the image is taking up the entire space. Our next choice is tracing options. So we've got a choice of outline or colour. So colour, it's a black and white image. You would think colour is perhaps not the option, but with outline, it only traces the very outline areas. We'll go to preview and just show you what it looks like with the outline traces traced. And what will happen is we'll show you in an aqua colour or a, uh, whatever colour it comes up in. You can see it's only traced bits and pieces. If you were tracing a silhouette, uh, it probably this would be an ideal one for that, and it would just trace the exact outline and do potentially a beautiful job. But we're going to choose colour because that will trace all the internal elements of this design as well. And we'll go to preview and show you the difference. And you'll see that it selects all the internal parts of the diagram, everything that's blue. So our next choice perhaps we'll look at is maximum number of colours. This can go up or down. Comes in by default at five. Uh, if it was a black and white image, I would normally pick two. The less scans is usually the better in, in my experience. And you'll see a funny thing, it's come in default at five. And if you look over on the design I've scanned, you can see these black lines here. So those, those lines haven't actually been traced. They're just um, as is. Now you would think normally that you would might increase this, but in this instance, if you decrease it, uh, and I think uh, when I tested it was four, but I would test it. At, I would do this one at two normally. We've got a preview again, and those three lines that didn't come through before are now selected and traced. You can see they've gone to a blue colour. So the next choice on this page is whether you want the background scanned as well and turned into a trace, trace part of the image. So this is the corners over here and we will deselect that in this instance because I don't want the background to come in. And we'll go OK. This is your next choice. So you've got to confirm whether you would like the uh, image that you traced onto the work area in Canvas Workspace. 
Uh, I normally say no. So the only reason I would say yes is if the image had a lot of colours and I wanted to match the colours or something, or I'm not sure. There's a few reasons you might at a particular instance, but in most instances I just say no, I don't want the image there. So I say no. And it will import, it's busy tracing it now, and it will import it into the Canvas workspace mat. And there it is. So once it comes in, it is in pieces. Every little piece is a separate object. So what I normally do, because especially if, uh, if I wanted to edit it now, I would just leave it like it is. But it's way too big and it needs resizing. So I'll just bring my mouse up here and select the entire design. You can see all the small objects of the design have been highlighted with little blue dots around them. And then I'd go up and group it. You go to edit and then group. You get one single box around it. Now how the grouping function works is you've got the small handles on the four corners and the, on each side. To get an even one you would just grab a corner and bring it down. And bring it down to the size you'd like, and adjust it. Make a mistake, don't panic if you haven't selected all the pieces. For example, when you're grouping and you've left some pieces behind, just go up to the undo and undo. Do it in the same, exactly the same thing in the downloaded version. So this is what the downloaded version looks like. So instead of the icon being up the top, it's just here on the left. It says image tracing, and this is the box you're presented with. Ask you the same information, whether you want to uh, choose the image from the computer or your machine. So again, we'll choose the same image. There it is. So it's really all the same steps, just looks a little different. And here we are with it importing the image in. So straight away, it, it, it doesn't have a preview button. It, it's missing that button. It automatic previews this, this version. You can see it's scanned pretty well the same pieces as the first one we saw. So we'll drop that down and go by color. And there it is again. Once again, there's three pieces of this image not scanned. It comes in as default number of colours is five. And you'll see as we reduce, let's go to four. It's brought it in already. So you could do four scans, but I only need two in this instance. Go down to two. Another difference with this version is that this white box up here is paste the image on the drawing area. I would normally uncheck that, but I want to show you something, so I'm going to leave it checked in this at this time. But I would recommend unchecking that unless you have a particular reason. And down the bottom here is whether you want the background in there or not. And it's the opposite of the other one. This one's included, so I would, I'd Online version has it as a default, the background's in, and this one has the default the background out. Basically, that's probably a clearer explanation. So we've left the image in the drawing line because I want to show you something. And we'll go OK and bring the, bring the traced image in with its original image. And there it is. So a couple of differences is the online version version does not have all the layers separated and visual like this. Often it's not showing. It's, you get it there. This is the icon you would select for layers to show the layers. That brings that down. I'm going to select this and I'm going to move it. And there's an error. You go, oh, what's that error from? Okay, it's an easy solution for this error. You come right down to the bottom 
It's related to the fact that I left that checkbox on right down to the very bottom and there's the image. So you can see it's got a little eye and a little lock. You check, take the lock out at the moment the image is locked and you will able to move it now and you don't get the error. You can also use the little eye to hide the visibility of that image and you see just the lines there, the, the base original images is not showing now. All these little shapes are these pieces in here, various ones. Click on them you'll see which piece they are. This is a good way to work out if there's any major errors or pieces not joined. Lots and lots of pieces in a Mandela. Which is what I recommend perhaps practicing with something a little easier than a Mandela. You can see there all the shapes. And a quick look over it, you can see if there's anything that looks not right too which is good and so I know this one looks funny that one looks a bit funny so that they, they would be ones I would go in and look at if I wanted to actually cut this design out and have it work this one as well see it highlighting the ones as you as you select them other one here looks a bit wacky do And that's just the shape. There you go. So you would uh, spend a little bit of time editing that to make sure it was going to cut correctly.